This Shabbat, we conclude the entire book of Exodus with a description of the completion of the sanctuary and the contributions that were brought by our people Israel. They gave of their best and their finest, their gold and their silver and their copper and the finest materials that were used to construct the sanctuary. And then we are told that the women came forward and they gave of themselves something that was very personal and close to their hearts. Their shiny copper mirrors that they used to adorn themselves and to beautify themselves they decided to contribute that personal item and dedicate it to the sanctuary. Moshe Rabbeinu looked at this and he said, unfortunately, I cannot accept this. It doesn't seem to fit in with the whole theme of the sanctuary. The sanctuary talks about holiness. It talks about depth. It talks about meaningful relationship between ourselves and Hashem and each other. Copper mirrors that are so superficial as to only capture the veneer, the external, Worse than that, that are filled with vanity and distraction and the allure of the external rather than things that are meaningful, this is not appropriate for the sanctuary. And Hashem turns to Moshe Rabbein and He says, Moses, this is more dear to me than any other gift that has been brought. Because these women utilized these shiny copper mirrors to beautify themselves in the dark, difficult days of Egypt when husbands came home from a labor-intensive day and were absolutely worn out and unable to think about family life, about future, about building a family and children. And these women, in the difficult, most complicated moments, found beauty, framed themselves and their husbands in their mirrors and said to their husbands, we have to preserve the love, the connection of relationship that we form the bond between us. We have to continue living as human beings and building our families. Hashem says those copper mirrors, they represent the fact that a, you, a human being can take something that could be so associated with the base elements, the animal elements of a human being, the veneers and the vanity and the distraction. But when it's used appropriately as these women did, they built the families and the future of our people, Israel. The beauty was not superficial. It reached into their inner core of relationship. And this is in fact the whole theme of the sanctuary, where God tells us, take gold, take copper, take silver, take physical beauty, utilize it to construct a home for Hashem as Hashem decides and, and, and describes and, and instructs us. If we use it appropriately, physical matter can become a conductor of the most spiritual kind. These copper mirrors, more than any other element that was contributed, represents elevating the base elements and utilizing it for real meaning. Now Hashem give us the ability to take the mundane, the simple, the superficial, and utilize it for a purpose that is filled with meaning and thereby build a home and a house in which Hashem, alongside us, feels so at home, a home that is filled with real beauty. Have a beautiful Shabbos.